portraiture sort of found me. Um, so I've been doing portraiture my whole life. It's telling people stories, really. Capturing the essence of someone and then being able to fix it for all time. There's all kinds of different styles of portraits in this room. And I do commission portraiture as well as portrait-based work. It's, it's always an interesting idea, you know, to, to have these people communicate through me to a viewer. Really, it began with the death of John Lewis. He was one of the original Freedom Riders. During that time, there was an article in the New York Times where they had splayed out a lot of mugshots, all in rows. And I just took one look at it, and I could picture it mm -hmm. in my style of, of oil and silver leaf, and what a powerful statement that would make. I realized that this year marks the 60th anniversary of the Freedom Rides, which happened in 1961. James Farmer was the founder of CORE, which is the Congress of uh, Racial Equality. And what he was trying to do with these freedom rides was to test a couple of Supreme Court decisions that had been handed down in 1946 and 1960 that held that segregation in public transportation was unconstitutional. Now, of course, it was still being practiced in the South, so he organized mixed race groups of people to ride on buses and test the law. The thing that really came through was when I started looking at these mugshots, what I was seeing is so many people were smiling in them and I was very intrigued by that. Because you think of these people, they come from all over the country. A lot of them are young. They've never been arrested before. They've never been in the segregated South before. And that's why I wanted to concentrate on the uh, people who were smiling in their mugshots. You have to imagine what they, what they were going through. They were all facing prison, and yet they were still smiling. And I think it has to do with the joy of being part of a, a movement that is bigger than yourself. I've arranged this in booking number order. It is a true chronology of, of when people got arrested. I also divided it up so that it was equally Caucasian and African American and equally male and female mugshots, which was the original design by James Farmer. It's a very powerful statement that, that 400 people were able to, to do this consistently, you know, day after day, they were challenging this system. And I think it's important for people now to realize, and I hope it inspires them. <laughs>